Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Oblivion. Well, last time, I finally completed the sets. That's right, I now run every major guild in Cyrodiil. The Grand Champion of the Arena, the Master of the Fighters Guild, the Archmage of the Majors Guild, the Grey Fox kind of when I'm wearing the right hats. And the Listener of the Dark Brotherhood, combined with, yes, various knightly orders. I'm like a member of 17 different knightly orders. And with that business wrapped up, I would say it is finally time to get back to Sean Bean and crack on with the main mission. So here we go, back at Cloud Ruler Temple, and uh, to my credit, I think it's not actually been that bloody long since, you know, I was supposed to be checking in. Yes, here we go. I was told to go and tell Joffrey what was going on on the 25th of First Seed, and it is now the 4th of Heartfire. Now, admittedly, not entirely sure how, you know, the calendar in Tamriel works. First Seed strikes me as spring, Heartfire strikes me as winter. So it's probably been about nine months, but crucially, it is the same calendar year. Yes. Good work. Captain Bird and his guardsmen should be able to handle any additional gates, at least for now. But the Bruma Guard cannot defend the city indefinitely. The Daedra of Oblivion are innumerable, the guardsmen of Bruma are not. We need to gather what allies we can before Bruma is hopelessly besieged. If the Mythic Dawn manages to open a great gate here, the city will need a stronger garrison for there to be any hope of defending it. You should speak to the rulers of the other cities of Cyrodiil, as well as the Elder Council. Ask them to send aid to Bruma before it is too late. Okay, so Bruma Gate is done, and now we're into allies for Bruma. So, okay, this one should be very manageable, because I have done a lot of work in every single town already. Though, admittedly, I've met, like, what's-his-face, Akato, only once, and he didn't seem too impressed by me. So, yeah, him I might need to do some work for first, I'm not sure. Martin made some progress on the Mysterium's axes while you were gone. You should speak to him about it. Okay, and not just that, the blood of the divines as well are marvellous. Okay, well, we'll get on with the allies for Broomer in just a second, because, yeah, Sean Bean is reading right here, so let's check in with him while we're passing by. I figured out another item needed for the ritual, to open the portal to Cameron's Paradise. The second item is the counterpart to the first, the blood of a divine. This was a terrible puzzle to me. Unlike the Daedra Lords, the gods have no artifacts and do not physically manifest themselves in our world. How then to obtain the blood of a god? But Joffrey solved it. The blood of Tiber Septum himself, who became one of the divines. This is a secret remembered only by the blades, passed down from one Grand Master to the next. Joffrey should tell it to you himself. Okay, so yes, the blood of someone who later became a god. That does make sense, though I'm not actually sure, yes, what ultimately did happen to Tiber Septem. Because if you need something with his blood on it, that would suggest maybe a weapon that was used to kill him. Or a razor that belonged to him if he had slightly unsteady hands. So, okay, I don't actually know whether he was murdered or anything at some point. I don't actually know the backstory of that guy. So, Martin wants you to recover the armor of Tiber Septim. I wish there was another way. The armor is in the shrine of Tiber Septim, in the catacombs beneath the ruins of Sankator, a holy place once. But Sankator became evil long ago. No one has returned from the shrine of Tiber Septim for many lifetimes. Okay, you think, you know, if there was a special shrine dedicated to Tiber Septem, who is, uh, one, literally a god, and two, the ancestor of uh, the current ruling family, yeah, maybe you'd go and take that back at some point. I do not know. The catacombs of Sankator were sealed by the first Grand Master of the Blades. The four mightiest blades of Tiber Septim's day, Elaine, Valdemar, Relus, and Kaznar, went to Sankator and never returned. Here... This is the key to Sankator's outer door. I fear I am sending you to your death, but we have no other choice. You must succeed. Okay, so yes, as you say, the armor of Tiber Septem, that would indeed have his blood on it, but only if, as I say, he was, like, assassinated, which... Was Tiber Septem assassinated? I don't know. 
an ancient relic of the first emperor who became the divine Talos, the patron of our order. After the Battle of Sankator, Tiber Septim gave his armor to the Blades in honor of our role in his victory. The Blades built a shrine in the catacombs of Sankator, on the spot where Tiber Septim received the blessing of Akatosh. The armor has been there ever since. Before evil came to Sankator, this shrine was a place of pilgrimage for all Blades. But no one has visited the shrine and lived to tell the tale in centuries. Yes, that is true. I just realized while he was speaking, you don't have to die to bleed. He could have been slightly wounded, but then just recovered. Yes, that does make it a lot easier now I think about it. And here we go. There's Sankator just to the north of Coral. So, way up in the mountains, off the beaten track nearby to, yeah, two I laid ruins I need to go and visit at some point. So, uh, let's not worry about that for now. Let's focus on uh, allies for Bruma, because uh, there is a bunch of stuff I do need to do, just, you know... Uh, Dotting eyes, uh, crossing T's at various towns around Cyrodiil. So uh, this will be a good opportunity to wrap a bunch of stuff up. Step one, down the road in Coraland. Yes, indeed. The Countess has got to be pretty sweet on me here. Okay, I helped her with that whole, yes, painting mystery pretty much as soon as my adventure began. But on top of that, while I'm passing by... I've also got Sins of the Father, the Honor Blade of Coral, which I got from the Ogre Chieftain many, many years ago. Two options. Return it to, yes, the guy who recruited me to this mission in the first place. He was implying it was worth a lot of money. Alternatively, okay, it's definitely going back to Coral. I like Coral. Coral's possibly my favorite town in all of Cyrodiil. So, okay, return it to the castle. Let's see who wants it. Possibly the Countess herself, in which case this would be an excellent first move on the path to asking her for reinforcements. Welcome back, my friend. Oh, you see, now that's a good sign. Literally being called friend by the Countess. But um, yes, it's not her that wants the swords. It's this chappy, I assume, the town steward. So yes, I happen to have the Honor Blade of Coral with me. Would you like it? This is incredible. I never thought to see the sword again. How did you... Never mind. One should not look a gift horse in the mouth. Please accept my thanks on behalf of the people of Coral for restoring this sword and the honor of our city. As a token of our gratitude, I bestow upon you a symbol of honor and heroism, this Cutchian of Coral. You've done a great service to Coral, and you should be proud... Okay, that's great, but I have no idea what an escutcheon is. Oh, it's a shield. You could have just said shield, you fancy bastard. So, uh, oh, bloody hell, I will admit, that's a good shield. So, uh, reflect damage at 35% is, uh, that is huge. Endurance, 10 points, that doesn't hurt, that's a few extra hit points. Though, unfortunately, it's heavy. If I use this thing, yeah, my armor drops to 59. Go back over to the light shield, it jumps back to 85, so... Uh, I mean, I could keep it, though. Oh, blimey, that weighs over 30. Okay, that is a ridiculously heavy shield. Right, we're not going to keep that on us all the time, but under the right circumstances, a massive reflect damage build could be fun, we'll say. Funny thing about heavy armor, though, which is, yeah, even if I were to massively grind this up to 100, it doesn't actually get any better. It just, yes, encumbers you less and less as time goes by. Whereas Light Armor, that stops encumbering you at Expert. At Master, you get a massive jump of 50% in the armor rating. So, yeah, it kind of feels like by the end game, Light Armor is just going to be objectively superior because you just gain a giant boost to armor rating that Heavy Armor doesn't. Also, I just noticed my sneakers only, um, yes, 88 at the moment. Apparently, I picked up Tunnel Cough at some point. So, yes, the reason I'm less sneaky is because when I'm trying to sneak up behind people... I'm occasionally coughing loudly. Beautiful. Right, your majesty, I have literally just brought you the Honor Blade of Coral, so I think you can spare some men for me. You have done my city a great service by closing the Oblivion Gate. I will now gladly send soldiers to aid in the defense of Bruma. Consider it done. Oh, this is nothing to do with, yes, like, local missions or how much she likes me or anything, though... She did suggest reputation, so maybe my fame level has something to do with this, but it feels like, yeah, the primary thing is, uh, have I dealt with the local Oblivion Gate? And uh, I'm pretty sure for at least most cities, uh, I have done. 
And we're not done with Sins of the Father just yet. I'd completely forgotten given this was, yes, a year and a half ago, the guy who stole it was the father of the Jermaine twins. So, yes, I'm supposed to be checking in with them now. I... I'm at a loss for words. Already I've heard that the Honor Blade rests again in Castle Coral, and the escutcheon of coral you have is all the proof I need. My father had told us that he had hidden something away for us, something to provide for our future, but I never imagined it was this. I'm sorry you had to be tasked to right this wrong that my father was responsible for. Once again, you've stuck your neck out for us. Maybe in the past my family was notorious, but never let it be said that the current Germains don't pay their dues. I'd like you to have this keepsake. My father gave it to me when I was but a lad. I think you should have it. Thanks again, my friend. You are always welcome in our home. Okay, you know what? I'm going to say that's a really good result because uh, there was a possibility that his response would be, my goodness, that was my father's sword. Of course, he didn't steal it. He was an honorable man. There's been a mistake. You've stolen my family treasure, etc., etc. So, okay, the fact he's accepted this with good grace, I'm going to call that a win. Oh my goodness, and look who's back. It's the adoring fan who just refuses to stay dead. I do enjoy how there is just no in-universe explanation for this guy just dying and then coming back a day or two later. It's wonderful. Okay, next on the list, Chayton Hall, and uh, this one should be easy. Because yes, Knights of the Thorn. This is where the idiot Count's son got himself trapped in oblivion, and I went in and got him out. So uh, the Count here loves me. I will not forget your service to me and to Chayton Hall. Rescuing my son from the Oblivion Gate was a daring feat. With the Oblivion Gate closed, I can now gladly send aid to Bruma. Okay, nice and easy. Though don't forget the Imperial City itself. This one's a bit trickier because, uh, yeah, what counts as uh, the local area, which is your local Oblivion Gate, if any? Okay, here we go. Start at the Roxy Inn, so we're, yes, on the edge of the lake, and... Uh, there are definitely Oblivion Gates round this bit of the world, all right? That one seems pretty nearby to the Imperial City, though. I'd be more concerned by ones that were actually on the same island as, you know, the Imperial City. But just in case, we're going to go and sort these bastards out. While I was just sorting out, yes, the demons on the outside and gathering their souls, I can't help but notice the term, uh, okay, the gift from the Jermaine brothers was uh, not really that good, uh, it was for Grand Soul Gems, uh, but they've all got common soul in them. Cocking useless. And as for the Oblivion Gate itself, uh, okay, this is one of the nice easy ones. If you're good enough at jumping, you can just yeah, get straight over this river without too much difficulty whatsoever. Very sorry to my adoring fan. You are about to, uh, yes, die in the lava again, actually. So, I mean, due credit to him. He does just, yep, there he is. He does just dive straight on him. All right, that is good. I was about to say bravery, but honestly, no, it's just straight up stupidity. Like, this is not even the first time he's died to lava. Right, nothing else too dramatic here. Straight up to the top. Let's see if we get lucky with, yes, either the mysterious whatever the cock this thing's supposed to be. Feather shoes. Kind of useless, but, you know, good weight to value ratio. And one oblivion ball. Lovely. You never know when you might get lucky and come across something amazing. I do also, by the way, really enjoy how every time this happens, the Oblivion Gate does spit out the corpse of my adoring fan after we're done. And every time it does, he's regenerated extra gold, so I am slowly making a profit off murdering my own adoring fan. Oh, and here's something delightful I did not realise, which is, uh, yes, apparently, Sigil Stones can actually buff skills. I did not know they could do that. I kind of thought they were just for fortification of attributes, but... Okay, maybe I could get lucky and find, say, acrobatics or athletics plus 12, which is better than I can enchant myself. So, okay, I did not realise you guys could do that. Okay, just continue around the coast looking for any Oblivion Gate that theoretically might be associated with uh, the Imperial City. I did see one like, um, yeah, way up on the ridge towards Chayton Hall, but that felt way too far away to possibly be the Oblivion Gate of uh, the Imperial City. So on we go, just round the coast. This does rather embarrassingly bring me back to, um, yes, Hell's Gate, though no one seems to mind too much about that whole murder I did last time I was passing by. Welcome to Pell's Gate. What brings you around here? 
Okay, they don't even seem to recognize me. That's even better. Okay, no more signs of gates. I've done maybe, yeah, half the entire loop around the Imperial City at this point. But I have also just passed by way. And that does remind me, I have not done one of the very first missions of the game I ever agreed to do. In fact, it is literally a year since I agreed to do this. Go fish, which apparently I agreed to do on the 6th of Heartfire, and it is now the 6th of Heartfire of the following year. So, okay, to celebrate one year of me not bothering to go fish for this guy, we're going to go and fish for this guy. So, uh, he wants scales, uh, and yes, it can't just be any fish. It's got to be the special fish that are only found in the lake north of Way. Okay, quest markers pointing me in the right direction. I've also got scouting magic, so... Wherever this fish is, don't turn down at the root, by the way. It is... There we go. That'll be you right there, though. I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure I can actually shoot you like... No, I'm not sure that's going to work. We might just have to go in and sort this out. So, okay, just down onto the water and... That's a rock. He's He's stuck in a rock. Okay, that's just cheating game. If he's stuck in a rock, that's not my fault. No, genuinely, he's stuck in a... Oh, hang on, he made it out. He made it out. Okay, it's all going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. This is going to be... Okay, I'll admit, you are tougher than I was expecting, given I am now, you know, the ultimate super mega hero guild master of everything. So, you're putting up a good fight, buddy. Just to grab myself. Okay, the scales. But I am a genius. You see, I could just go swimming like an idiot and hunt the fish down one by one. But why would I do that when these are officially ingredients and I own a magical chest that duplicates ingredients? I don't know precisely how it works or anything, but the implication was uh, put one ingredient inside and come back like 24 hours later or something and all of a sudden it's going to have multiplied. I don't know how much by, but like the implication was uh, quite a lot. You cannot remove quest items from your inventory. Okay, well, screw you, game. That was a genius idea, and I resent you for not letting me do it. Okay, contrary to my previous statement, I am, in fact, just going to swim around like an idiot, whacking this fish with a sword until they eventually die. Yes. Actually, you know what? Never mind. Today I've got lucky, and this fish is just sort of uh, flopping out of the water, which they do sometimes do for no well-explained reason. Marvelous. Also, this guy does just want the, um, yes, the scales, right? He said nothing about the soul, so I can at least help myself to the soul. Bloody hell, these things have got grand soul. That's okay, I did not realise a fish right next to the starting city had a grand soul inside it. Marvellous. Okay, I would like it to be known, I tried, okay? I really bloody tried to gather this guy some bloody fish, but there are no fish. I have found uh, three fish. Hello, there's the adoring fan, by the way. I found uh, three fish, got three scales, uh, and now there are no more fish. I've tried uh, going in that direction. I've tried uh, going in that direction. There are no more fish that I can locate. The game is very insistent I'm supposed to be staying in, yes, this local area right here. And I've let like a week of in-game time pass, and the fish are not regenerating. There are just no fish. So basically, screw this guy. I did my best. But as it turns out, you don't get your fish. And on top of that, I see no evidence whatsoever suggesting, yes, the existence of any Oblivion Gates anywhere near the Imperial Center. So, okay. With that done, let's go check in with the Carto. Because I suspect he's going to have extra work he needs doing first. Right over to the Imperial Chamber, right over here. This is the... Hang on, was that... Oh, that's you right there. Sorry, I just walked straight past you, buddy. This is terrible news. Under normal circumstances, I would dispatch a legion or two to Bruma immediately. But the circumstances are not normal, are they? I've been pleading for troops for Cyrodiil for weeks, but the generals assure me that the entire Imperial Army is already fully committed. Besides... I'd have a full-scale political crisis on my hands if I tried to pull any troops out of the provinces. I'm sorry, but the cities of Cyrodiil will have to fend for themselves for the time being. Okay, so uh, literally nothing, though. That does kind of make sense, because I have been hearing just in the background, uh, yes, this is not a Cyrodiil problem. There are Oblivion Gates all over Tamriel. I think, yes, specifically I heard, like, in Bruma at some point, all the holds of Skyrim are under siege, so... Uh, Yes, indeed. It turns out, well, 
it kind of feels like this guy almost doesn't have control of the Imperial Army anymore. The generals are basically saying, no, I'm not bringing troops back to Cyrodiil, even if you want me to, because uh, he's not really the Emperor, is he? He's just like the Regent, so uh, it sounds like the army's not even really taking orders from him. I do just enjoy, by the way, how my adoring fan is just getting involved in so much high politics around Cyrodiil. It's lovely. Anyway, on to the next local city, I suppose. Although, actually, John, don't forget, while we're doing the rounds, make sure, yes, you wrap up any unfinished business. And uh, there are a couple of things around here I've forgotten to do. Number one, Tears of the Saviour. I need to get into uh, Frostfire Glade, a Khajiit guildmate over in, I think it was Bravil or Leowin. Yeah, they wanted me to do this. But to get in, I need some special refined frost salts up from the university. Here we go, Julian selling these. Been on the expensive side, but that's all absolutely fine. So, don't know how many I need. But then again, I can just turn the spares into uh, frost poison. So, that's fine, I suppose. Here we go, frost fire. Barely around the corner from, uh, yes, Mafala's Shrine. So, uh, let's start there and see what we've got. Here we go, just at the base of the Gerald Mountains. Nothing too dramatic so far. So, not actually 100% sure what those refined frost salts were... Uh, Four. Like, I'm sure I'm going to be... Oh, blimey, okay. Probably not for you, to be honest, but we do need to take you out anyway. Oh, no. No, not again. Not the adoring fan a third time. Nope, don't worry. Adoring fan is just being very chill about the whole mountain lion situation. To be honest, there we go. There's the knockdown I wanted. And now, just a half is the soul while I'm passing. You're already dead, aren't you? Yes, you're already very dead. Okay, in we go. But we know something magical is going on here. It's not just, you know, bears and tigers all the way through. Most definitely not. And to be honest, yes, this is pretty basic uh, animals uh, to date. So I may as well just help myself to uh, some souls uh, while we are passing by. Lovely. Oh, here we go. This is definitely magical and weird. So, uh, right. I've arrived at the entrance to Frostfire Glade. So, yes, this was just like a cave uh, hiding it. Like the book describes, uh, the refined frost salts are in my hand. All I have to do is open the seal by touching it. So, uh, okay. Crack you open and... I swear I just heard a roar behind me. I think possibly... Oh. Okay. Hang about. Um, I was expecting, you know, another cave, but... I would appear to have stumbled into, uh, yes, like, an outdoor area that's presumably, like, you know, uh, secret and only accessible via this cave. The frost burns as though it was fire. I should be careful searching for Garadan's tears. Also, I swear I heard a bear behind me. Was there a bear? There was definitely a bear still here. I'm so sorry. It possibly just killed the adoring fan. I'm not sure. Oh, no, never mind. He's fine. He's okay for the time being. I mean, he's not at full health. But honestly, he's doing better than... Uh oh. Okay, so the glade that's full of uh, swirling, you know, ice fire. He might not do so well in there, potentially. Then again, he is holding a torch, which probably doesn't generate heat. It's probably not that simple. But, okay, he might have a chance at the bare minimum. Okay, weapons away. How bad are we? Oh. Okay. We've got Frost Atronax. Understandable, to be honest. So, just line of pay. Oh, blimey. Okay, I think I just stepped into the, uh... The damage there. Just get their attention. They're not the fastest bastards in the world. And, uh, okay. I am taking a small amount of magical damage. I'm guessing frost damage. So, I might be able, in theory, to, you know, slightly offset that in various ways. And in the meantime, uh, okay. Where did the bloody frost atronach go? There you go, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. I have got a lovely playmate for you. Okay, Storm should work pretty bloody well against this guy. And I've also got a flaming sword. Fire has got to be the right answer for you. Lovely. Finish off of the local icy guardians. Beautiful. Right, any more for any more? Not as I can see. So if I just go down the hill into the... Okay, I'm going to be honest, the effect does not seem that strong. Then again, do not forget, John. You've got various decent resistances on you right now, though. Oh, blimey. Okay, apparently my chest piece is basically broken. And I'm out of bloody repair hammers. Well, that's just marvellous. Okay, slap me together a potion of, uh, yes, frost shield. So two minutes of uh, even better frost resistance. Now, down at that immediately, and at this point... 
Okay, we should basically be taking effectively zero frost damage. Okay. As we go deeper in, this is definitely hurting a bit more. But really not that much. I think we can keep up with it just with, uh, yeah, day-to-day -day healing. Though, uh, okay. I can see we've got... Oh! Apparently I've discovered an astonishing sight. I did not realize I had, but apparently I have. Uh, Garadin himself locks an eternal frozen struggle with a huge frost to Atronach. Dropped his weapon and was using the Ewer to protect himself. The Atronach smashed the Ewer, which must have reacted with the magical waters uh, and frozen everything solid. Uh, a sad end uh, for such a noble knight. So, where is this thing you're describing, by the way? Oh, here it is. I found it. Okay, it is happening. That's certainly true. So that's what occurred. But, wasn't I supposed to be, like, you know, getting the... There we go. Garadon's Tears. So, uh, there may be more. Presumably very nearby to this bit in the center and oh if you're smart use this log to just sneak straight into the center okay i wasn't i just decided to be you know resistant to frost damage and march straight on in like an idiot but okay that's definitely the smarter solution got it okay i see another one but yes visibility inside the mist is uh, it's a bit tricky the bloom is a bit on the aggressive side and uh, Still one more somewhere. Oh, there we go. There's number four. And uh, bloody hell, there's just so many of the bastards, apparently. Oh, bloody finally, number five are hidden by a rock. And uh, okay, that's the lot. That took a while. Though, to be honest, yes, this is not a bad place to just um, grind restoration, if you will. Right, net back to layer when we will be going in that direction in a moment. But... Before we leave the Imperial City behind, uh, there is one other mission we need to do there. Possibly the most famous, or rather infamous, mission in all of Oblivion. That's right, I can fit horse armor to my horse. Though there is one small issue before we do get to that, which is uh, I've kind of lost my horse. Like, I've not seen Shadowmere for a very long time. You see, back in the day, every time I travelled to a town, I was just told, uh, hey, your horse has been stabled outside. But that stopped happening at the point where, yes, I turbocharged Shadowmere with magic and then left him unconscious in the middle of the forest. Now, as I understand it, horses, uh, yes, if you lose them, they go back to the stable where you bought them. But I didn't buy Shadowmere, so... Okay. Shadowmere will have gone back to... Uh, wherever it was acquired, which was somewhere near Chaitana Hall, because it was given to me by Lucien Lachance in his base. So, uh, problem is I can't bloody remember what that was called. Here we go, Fort Farragut. That sounds about right, though apparently I'm taking damage right now. Okay, now I'm not taking damage. Now I can go to Fort Farragut. I can't fast travel from this location. Okay, well, screw you two, game. Oh, and there she is. Magnificent. Welcome back, Shadowmere. And, um, okay, I'm so sorry. You don't get to Shadowmere. You just try and keep up as best you can. Right, so if I step on Shadowmere now, then presumably, now if I travel somewhere, you will start relocating to the nearest stable. So say if I go to, yes, Talos Plaza, I'm kind of hoping in a second I will get the alert. Your horse has been stabled at the nearest, oh, auto-saving. Beautiful. So, okay. Step outside. My horse should now be in the perfect location to receive armor. Okay, having a demon horse, that is not good enough. I need a demon horse that's also wearing armor. Okay, Snack. Set me up with some beautiful, sexy horse armor. What can I interest you in? Okay, apparently there's options. So, steel or elven. So, okay, steel's gonna be like silvery. Elven's going to be like more gold. So I feel like black and gold, that's a good combination. Then again, black and silver works pretty nicely too, given... Uh, then again, Shadow is kind of purple. I swear there's a tiny bit of purple in there. So uh, you know what? Elven is definitely fancier than steel. Here you are, just like I promised. Thanks again for all the help. I have literally never done anything for you. And now, okay, I can do it, but it's going to cost me 500 gold to change. Okay, so just step outside and prepare yourselves for the majesty. Oh my goodness. It's so ridiculously ugly and gaudy. I love it. 
Okay, destination the next would be Skingrad, and uh, obviously, now I've got the fanciest horse in the world, uh, we are going there on horseback, and we are going, of course, at ludicrous speeds. So, just a set, hurry up, you slow bastards, uh, hop on top, I've lined you up ahead of time, and oh, blimey! <laughs> Ah, oh, life is good. And also the adoring fan is, I'm guessing, um, not necessarily doing a great job uh, keeping her. Where is the adoring fan? The adoring fan is so far away, they've not loaded in yet. I love it. Okay, it turns out there is such a thing as riding your horse too fast. My horse is now so fast, I've just managed to crash the game. Brilliant. Okay, via the much safer mechanism of fast travel, destination the next, Skingrad, and, uh, okay, well, this one's just easy. Me and the Count, we are best friends, okay? I helped to kill his wife, which sounds bad, but was actually good. Mehrunes Dagon has no more love for my kind than for my mortal subjects. Less, perhaps, as we make poor slaves. You have helped me by closing the Oblivion Gate near Skingrad. I will likewise help you by sending aid to Bruma. I didn't doubt for a second uh, that, yeah, Hasseldor would be on my side. Okay, here's something downright weird. I was kind of just assuming Kavach wouldn't be involved in this, but somehow or another, the game is telling me to go to Kavach. Okay, I really feel like these guys are not gonna have troops to spare to send to Bruma. They have most definitely still got their own problems. I have few enough men to spare, but you have more then earned our help. I will send what aid I can. Bruma must not share the fate of our city. Okay, you know what? I guess that does kind of make sense. This city is already completely bloody fallen. So uh, now we've secured this place and there's no demons floating around, uh, I guess it does make sense to send your men somewhere where they might be able to stop the same thing happening again. Sure, why not? Okay, Anvil's a bit of an odd one because yes, there was definitely a large oblivion gate on the hill over there. That one I've definitely already taken out, but there's another one over here that I'm pretty sure I haven't. So, okay, just for safety, we'll just swing by, collect another Oblivion Ball on the way past. Oh, bloody hell, I'm pretty sure that, um, yes, the Adoring Fan is being hunted down by a Zivili right now. Okay, I should not have fast travelled uh, straight to, uh, yes, the gateway. Things are going nasty in a hurry. I'm so sorry, please just run, Adoring Fan. I'll take care of the demons as soon as I can, okay? There's... Okay, now there's a mountain lion coming in. The mountain lion is now just attacking the Zivili. Okay, well, this has just turned into absolute cocky chaos immediately. I love it. Also, yes, I remember this one. This is the gate that literally spawned on top of the Shrine of Mara rather inconveniently. So uh, if I take this gate out, do I get the shrine back? Because that'd be wonderful if so. Oh, bloody hell. It's by far my least favourite Oblivion plane, which is, uh, this is just the one where you just run up the hill, back and forth and back and forth, and it's just a giant gauntlet of enemies. So, uh, I'm so sorry. I suspect you're not surviving this, because uh, my plan is just to, uh, yes, fortify speed and sprint to the top. So, uh, I am so sorry, adoring fan. But in all fairness, even if you do die, you do tend to come back within 48 hours. So, it's all going to be fine in the end. Here we go, activate a ludicrous speed. Demons tend to, yes, either buff themselves or summon something every time you actually pass them by. So all I need to do is just, uh, yeah, be out the way before they're done buffing, casting, summoning, whatever it is they're planning to do next. So this is going to be just fine. Honestly, I think this is the only Oblivion map that's genuinely actually bad. I do not enjoy being in this one at all. It is literally just giant pile of enemy, cave with giant pile of enemy, giant pile of enemy, cave with giant pile of enemy, giant pile of enemy, and then a completely normal tower. It is just a really boring plane of Oblivion. I despise this one. Still, bare minimum, all horrible things must come to an end sooner or later. Grab the Oblivion Ball, a job done. Kinda lost track of the Adoring Fan at some point, so I imagine he's dead. Yep, there he goes, dead once again. But as I say, there's an extra O. Oh, only two gold on this occasion. He's bloody shortchanging me. Right, I'll see you in a day or two, buddy. And as for the stone, a solid frost damage 25 points. Though, yeah, frost just seems to be by far the worst type of element damage. So if I do need a new weapon at some point, I'll consider it. But I'm not planning to change over to anything else anytime soon. Okay, middle of the night. So Count and Countess will not be up right now. Which gives me time to, yes, do something I've been meaning to do for a while. 
Here we go, nip back home and pick out a ring that's particularly nice and fancy. And I have got so many bits of jewellery, mostly from grave robbing to be honest. Here we go, ebony diamonds. Now that sounds lovely. And now we just associate that with, yes indeed, detect life 180 feet. That is a huge radius, that's going to be really useful. Welcome to the rotation, scouting about. Okay, following morning, and this one's got to be an easy sell. I literally did a time travel heist in order to get you two back together. I've heard that you've closed the Oblivion Gate outside Anvil. I honour you for your bravery and service to my city. With Anvil safe for the moment, I will send some of my best soldiers to bolster the Bruma garrison. I do enjoy how they completely ignore everything else I've done for them, even when I've been intimately involved in some of the biggest moments of their lives and are focused instead exclusively on whether the local gate is closed. Though, I suppose given the question is, can you afford to give up some soldiers, that does make sense, yes. Okay, over to Bravel, I have definitely taken out your local gates. Which is good, because to be honest, yes, the Count of Bravo, I feel like that's someone we've barely done any business with, actually. In fact, actually, is this the first time we've met, buddy? Regulus Terentius, Count Braville. I'm really rather busy, and I doubt that you have anything to say that I need to hear. Okay, I feel like me and him have just never met before. Marvelous. Thank you for closing the Oblivion Gate that was threatening Braville. I will send my guard captain, Pierre Alaris, to Bruma's aid. Okay, even though we don't even know each other, closing the gate, good enough, marvellous. And, uh, gonna be honest, buddy, I don't really want to buy a house in this town. It's not the nicest town. In which case, straight round the corner to Leowin, and before we go dealing with any of the rest of it, yes, the Mages Guild. This is where the Kijitu told me to go and find Garadan's Tears uh, is located, so... Uh, Okay, I've got some tears for you. It was nice and simple to get them, in fact. You found five of the tears? Fantastic. This turned out better than I expected. Perhaps a little bit of a bonus is in order. Okay, so we've got... Oh, blimey. Okay, that is not a bad bonus right there. 2,500 gold. Lovely. They're the pride of my collection. Okay, so they weren't like, you know, special for any reason apparently. He just really wanted them because they were fancy and he enjoys collecting fancy things. I mean, fair enough, to be honest. In which case, straight over to the castle and yes, Leowin, I'm definitely done with these guys already. Because once upon a time, yeah, there were two gates right next to your city. I've taken care of both. So whichever one was at the local gate, we are golden. How are you faring in your campaign against the remnants of the Black Bow Bandits, Sir Knight? Okay, I'm going to be honest, I haven't done that, but if you recall, I did sort out that issue you were having with a, a really annoying orc who was claiming they were a knight, okay? You may notice she's no longer around, she's no longer annoying you, it's because she's dead. I didn't actually kill her myself though, she just ran into a local monster like an idiot. Well, with the Oblivion Gate near Leowin closed, I suppose the immediate threat is lessened. I will do as you ask. Let no one say Leowin did not do its part to uphold the Empire. Okay, so there we go. A clean sweep with the exception of Akato, who appears to have, yes, rather lost control of the entire Imperial Army. So okay, Joffrey, I have got you, well, I was about to say everything you could ask for. I haven't. I've got you, like, you know, a random collection of soldiers that various counts were willing to spare. I have not got you the Imperial Legions. But that's Akato's fault, not mine. You've done better than I had hoped. Bruma's garrison is now as strong as we can make it. So, okay, no reward or anything, but I suppose at the bare minimum, Bruma's perhaps got a bit of a better chance of not being demonically nuked at some point. Oh, and this is super cute. They are actually camping inside the walls of Bruma. They've set up all their tents and they've got all their different armor on, so yeah, you can tell who's who based on the shield and whatnot. So, uh, you, buddy, you're the guy from Kavach. Ah. Oh. That's pretty bloody cool, actually. I like that. Also, you've got a name, suggesting I'm supposed to know who you are. I look forward to fighting these Daedra side by side with the hero of Kovach. I have no idea whether we've met before, but I'm glad you're here, Viera. So, okay, with Bruma as well defended as it possibly can be, I'd say that's enough for now. But next time, I know precisely where we're going.
In this beautiful, unexplored section of the Gerald Mountains, we have got three targets that I want to be going after. Two Isle Age Ruins, which I know for a fact contain the special statues, and Sankator, which apparently is, yes, like, evil and haunted, but may contain the blood of a god. So, probably worth a trip, I would say. So, into the mountains we go next time. Hopefully, you are looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.